But now we are a nation in decline. We are a failing nation. We are a nation that has the highest inflation in 50 years. And where the stock market finished the worst first half of the year since 1872. Likewise, we are a nation that has the highest energy cost in its history. We are no longer energy independent or energy dominant. And we were just there two short years ago. We are a nation that is begging Venezuela, Saudi Arabia, Russia, and many others for oil. Please, please, please help us, Joe Biden says. Yet we have more liquid gold right under our feet than any other country in the world. We are a nation that is consumed by the radical left's Green New Deal. Yet everyone knows that the Green New Deal will lead to our destruction. We are a nation whose leaders are demanding all electric cars, even though they can't go far, cost too much, and whose batteries are produced in China with materials only available in China when unlimited amounts of gasoline are available inexpensively in the United States, but not available in China. We are a nation that ended oil exploration and production in the United States of America, just as the price of oil reached an all-time high. We are a nation that surrendered in Afghanistan, leaving behind dead soldiers, American citizens, and $85 billion worth of the finest military equipment in the world. We are a nation that allowed Russia to devastate a country, Ukraine, killing hundreds of thousands of people, and it will only get worse. It would never have happened with me as your Commander-in-Chief, and for four long years, it never did happen. And China with Taiwan, their circling is next. We are a nation that has weaponized its law enforcement against the opposing political party like never before. We've got a Federal Bureau of Investigation that won't allow bad election-changing facts to be presented to the public. Where Hunter Biden's laptop was Russian disinformation when they knew it wasn't. And a Department of Justice that refuses to investigate egregious acts of voting irregularities and fraud. And we have a president who's cognitively impaired and in no condition to lead our country, which may very well end up very soon in World War III. We are a nation that no longer has a free and fair press. Fake news is all you get. And they are indeed the enemy of the people. We are a nation where free speech is no longer allowed, where crime is rampant like never before, where the economy has been collapsing, where more people died of COVID in 2021 than in 2020. We are a nation that is allowing Iran to build a massive nuclear weapon and China to use the trillions of dollars it has taken from us to build a military to rival our own. And just two years ago, we had Iran, China, Russia, and North Korea in check. They weren't going to do a thing against us, and everyone knows it. They respected your leader, and they respected our country. And perhaps most importantly, we are a nation that is no longer respected. We are a nation that is no longer listened to around the world. We are a nation that in many ways has become a joke. And we are a nation that is hostile to liberty, freedom, and faith. We are a nation whose economy is floundering, whose stores are not stocked, whose deliveries are not coming, and whose educational system is ranked at the very bottom of every single list. We are a nation where large packs of criminals and thieves are allowed to go into stores and openly rob them, beat up the help, and kill people. They will kill people, and they kill them at will. 
if necessary, and even if not necessary, and there is no retribution. We are a nation whose once revered airports are a dirty, crowded mess where you sit and wait for hours and then are notified that the plane won't leave. And they have no idea when they will as a nation when they will be delivered and when you will be delivered to your destination. It's a nation where ticket prices are through the roof. They don't have the pilots to fly the plane. They don't want or seek qualified air traffic controllers. And they don't know what the hell they're doing. We are a nation that has lost its confidence, its willpower, and its strength. We are a nation that has lost its way. But we are not going to let this continue. Two years ago, we were a great nation, and we will soon be a great nation again. It was hardworking patriots like you who built this country, and it is hardworking patriots like you who are going to save our country. We will stand up to the radical left Democrats, and the rhinos, and we will fight for America like no one has ever fought before. There is no mountain we cannot climb. There is no summit we cannot reach. There is no challenge we cannot meet. There is no victory we cannot have. We will not bend, we will not break, we will not yield. We will never, ever, ever give in. We will never give up. We will never, ever back down. As long as we are confident and united, the tyrants we are fighting do not stand even a chance. Because we are Americans, and Americans kneel to God and God alone. The silent majority is back and stronger than ever before. My fellow citizens, this incredible journey we are on together has only just begun. And it is time to start talking about greatness for our country again. We are one movement, one people, one family, and one glorious American nation. So with the help of everyone here today and citizens all across our land, we will make America powerful again. We will make America wealthy again. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. Proud. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. Thank you, Michigan. God bless you all. Thank you, Michigan. Thank you very much.